Hey Wonders, thanks for joining us. I gotta tell you, off camera before I start this video, my wife and I were discussing my dialect when I say Wonders. She can't tell I say Wonders like wandering around or Wonders like I wonder what's going on with that <laughs> uh, You probably can't either, so don't worry about it. It's fine, it's just a little bit, a little bit of sound. You know? So welcome Wonders. What we're gonna show you today is we're still in the Smoky Mountains. This is just a few things, that, uh, a few tips and tricks and things that AI like to bring and a little tip and trick of how we like to maximize our points and use them and some of the things we do to do that. Uh, so let's start with some of the basic things I think that if you have at home, you can bring to really improve your vacation. And I'm gonna start with this little device right here. Uh, this is a don't leave home without it. This literally lives in our suitcase where we pack for travel. It just stays there all the time. What is it? It's a little Roku stick. Uh, it's great because this you can plug in the TV. This will usually plug in a USB on the TV. If not, it'll plug into a block. Uh, everything I watch at home, if I want to watch TV in the evening, if I want to watch it in the morning, if I want to watch it when I go to bed, all my preferences, all my shows, everything is already done right here, ready to rock. So it's literally just like being at home, right? Pop this thing in, all my accounts ready to go, everything is just smooth, and I love that. One of the worst things when you come here and you have to log into 57,000 things. Why? This doesn't take up any room. Plug it in, throw it in, just leave it, go. It's gonna be like 35, 40 bucks. Um, well worth it. We use it constantly. Another thing I never leave without is my laptop. It's a small little tablet based laptop. Uh, I take this pretty much everywhere with me for travel. You got a niche, do you, buddy? Sometimes serves dog gets a niche. It happens. We're good now? Okay. Uh, why? Well, one, when I plan on my next vacation, it's nice to have this here. I, I keep all my spreadsheets on it. You never know when you may need to do something, save something, look up something. It's just nice to have all over the computer with you. So I take this. I also take my work laptop, but it's because I do some work while I travel, so does my wife. If you don't have to work, don't bring that crap, but do bring a little personal small computer. It's kind of like a big phone, you know? Uh, speaking of that, this is another thing. This is a very recent addition to our travel. This is a Nintendo Switch. Why do I like this? Well, because it's a docking station. Uh, you know, my wife can like I said, play Mario Kart, whatever we want to do, drop that in the thing. We often travel with our nieces and nephews. And man, how much fun would it be to sit there and be able to play games with them? Of course, it's a great entertainment thing for them when they travel with us and it doesn't take up hardly any room. We actually thought about this when we were in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. And if you ever go to Flagstaff, the resort has a little, I don't know what they call it, a little lodge area. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. One of the things you could do is you could play on their TVs. They had Nintendo Switches set up. You could go check out the controllers and you could play things. And we spent hours with a couple friends of ours playing Mario Kart. I might have been intoxicated. Playing a lot of Mario Kart in there. And it was so much fun. We thought we wanted to be able to recreate that. So we picked this up so my wife and I could play Mario Kart or we probably gonna play Mario Kart together, whatever the game. Old Nintendo games for you old people, new stuff, whatever you want to do. This is a nice little thing to kind of have around. Also doesn't take up very much space. Another one that I think is almost becoming a must have is if you have a mobile battery pack, bring that. Why? Some rooms, most of them have USB right by the bed, but not all. Uh, this thing you can charge up, and then you can just charge your, your phone at night off of it. You can charge your watch off of, you have enough ports, whatever you want to do, and then you can leave it to recharge during the day. So if you don't have a port by the bed or you normally like one, this is great for that. If you're gonna be out all day hiking, you can take this with you if you're here doing the hike. And if your phone were to run out of that juice, plug it in and go. Uh, if you're Bonnet Creek, we actually picked this up thinking of Bonnet Creek and Disney for all the things that you use your phone for. It was wonderful. So having one of these when you travel is awesome. So I really recommend getting a little battery pack. Great thing. A few things for in the room. Uh, one that I really like, stop for everybody, this is a soda stream, no electrical needed. You know, I like to make my own carbonated beverages so I can control some things. So this travels with us. Why? Because this is a big bulky thing. Well, for one, it makes what I want to drink cheaper. Two, it keeps me on my calorie count because I can make sure I can get zero sugar stuff. Uh, whatever I want, I can put in here. It does take up a little real estate. So this is one that if I didn't have a larger vehicle, I might leave out. I'm not leaving out any of this over here. I don't care if I'm driving a, you know, the smallest of small cars. I could be driving a clown car. I'm taking these things with me. This, if I have space, I'm gonna bring it. Same with this, this is our uh, Welcome to Margaritaville. So we're not staying in Margaritaville. We just bring our margarita machine. We use the heck out of this on vacation, man. You can take this thing, make you a couple frozen margaritas, fill up your big old metal tumblers, go down to the pool and just whatever. Go out on the beach, drink. Don't, obviously don't take these to the Smoky Mountains. You gotta drive there. We were a walking distance. 
the Silicon Cup and enjoy. So I always drag that with me. So those are some of the items that I think are really great to take on vacation. Some things may not apply to you, but I think everybody needs a Roku and a battery pack at least. Uh, the rest of the stuff is always a good idea. What does it do? Like, why am I saying take all this? Well, the point of being on vacation is to relax and, and, and have time with family and friends or whoever you're with, your spouse, and just enjoy life, right? These are all things that make that more enjoyable, a little more home-like. It takes the best parts of home and brings them with me. So that is always nice. One thing you notice is we're in a mobility unit. And you're probably thinking, why well, I heard Erin talk about she used to have to be in a wheelchair a lot and used to have to do these things, but she really does it now. And you guys talk about going on hikes, why do you need a mobility unit? Well, the truth is, today we didn't need it. There have been times we have. We've taken our mother-in-law with us who is absolutely needs a mobility unit. Uh, and we have had those before we started filming. The reason we're in one today, though, is this is part of maximizing your points. And if you're going to stay within the Wyndham system, whether you bought retail or whether you bought whatever you, you bought, especially if you bought retail, if you bought aftermarket, it's not as big of a deal. But if you're in that VIP program where there's point discounts and upgrades and things like that, we'll book our stuff out a long ways in advance. The very beginning of the window. So I like to book my trips. I said there's a spreadsheet on that computer that goes all the way to 2027, right? So we book early, but then as it gets closer to our window, we will look and see if there's availability, and then we will drop that booking and rebook to recoup some of those points by using the discounts. I would strongly suggest you do the same thing. Here's the kicker. I never book a mobility unit 13 months out unless it's the only thing there. You know, I'm going to book a normal unit because I can go with a normal unit, and I actually prefer a normal unit. But when we get to that two-month window, if there's no more normal units, but I can use a mobility unit, whether it's a mobility, we've done low vision, we've done all of those before, two months out to save those points, I'm going to do that. I don't think you have to feel bad about that. I would feel bad if it was other things available and I was doing it and I didn't need it. But in this case, we were two months out. It's kind of open season. Most things were booked up by then. A lot of times we can't book and redrop to things full. So in that instance, I think, you know, everybody's had that opportunity. Go ahead and get what you can do to move up those points around. What would be terrible is to be 10 months out when the booking window first opens and you have the choice for the uh, uh, mobility unit and the non-mobility unit and you choose a mobility unit you don't need. Don't do that. Choose a normal unit if you can use it. But when it comes time to book and redrop that close, do what's best for you, obviously. So that is kind of what we typically do. The other nice thing about the mobility units is I think that's probably why we're on that walkout floor, which is really great because it does make our life easier with him. No elevators with a service dog because even though he's a service dog, he still needs to go out. Anything that's else? that's not typical of all mobility units. It's not all, but I think for some of them. We just yeah. happened to luck out that this Slow one was down. on the second floor because there's one above us, one below us, one next to us. They're all mobility. Yes. Okay, well, there you go. We just got lucky. So I do like, uh, I like that. Anything you want to add to that you think we have So some, for, well, yes, for must bring. So we're going to call this Matt's must bring. Matt's must bring. And we will do my must brings later. What? Yep. So there you go. You will get my must brings later because we all know that there's a lot of stuff packed up there and things around the unit that you haven't seen. So you will see yeah. my must haves a little bit later. I know so, you looked at all the liquor bottles and she said her must haves, I promise you guys are not. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. All right, so thanks for wandering with us and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely.